Season four is here. Am I a little bit late to the party? Yes. Did I not check the date of the update when I went to plan my vacation? Also, yes. But you live and you learn, and today we're getting the ISO 45 Orion. I actually have some of this weapon complete. We got to play a little bit of season four before I left, so I already have my 50 kills with it. We still need five more kills while ADSing to get this camo, which actually looks pretty decent. We need a lot more point blank kills to get this one done. And we basically need all of our kills from behind to get this prismatic camo, which actually looks really good. I'm really excited about this camo. And once that's all done, we need to get our three kills without dying. We need to get our long shots. We need to get our headshots, and then we'll finally have Orion. So like I said before, I got to play a little bit of season four and so far the iso 45 is definitely my favorite weapon from this update i haven't been able to use the new melee yet because i'm pretty sure nobody has it unlocked it's like a community event challenge actually i think there might be a way to unlock it if you uh get like 25 melee kills on vondel vondel these nuts but i literally only saw like one tweet about it and i don't know if it's real but between this and the ar that came out this seems so much stronger like i was winning gunfights with this like a hundred percent more than I was with the the AR. It's just so fast and it has like a really fast time to kill as well. And honestly, it felt like it had more range than the AR too. So overall, not a bad weapon. I am a little ashamed to say that I did buy the Black Cell uh, bundle or the, the Battle Pass upgrade, whatever you want to call it. They, they really put me in a time crunch here. Not only did I plan my vacation like in a very untimely manner when it came to playing COD, but I only had a few hours to play it when the update came out. So I had to get black celled in order to even try out the new weapons before I left, which I think is probably the only benefit to the black cell upgrade. Because honestly, a lot of the cosmetics do not look very cool. Oh, gotta save my teammate. Oh, gonna get the kill in time. Oh, but we got our, our kills while ADS now. Oh, we need to get point blanks and kills from behind. So I'm playing way too far away for that. Also, I am using the camo from, what is it? The COD champs thing. I'm not going to lie. I didn't watch a whole lot of it. I kind of just threw it on to get the drop. But the camo is kind of decent. It's like uh, an alternate gold camo. Seems like they're doing a whole lot of alternate golds with uh, this and the black cell, whatever bundle. What is the point of this? Is this supposed to lead somewhere? It's just an empty door. But overall, I think season four is a pretty decent update. Uh, I'm not like the most excited about it. I feel like they kind of, you know, took all the excitement excitement out of the game by not doing stuff like this sooner. Like I'm happy that's here. And I think the, the stuff added in this update are good, but it almost feels like a little too late. Like I'm still going to play the game, but I don't think my excitement level for it is going to be anywhere near that it was when the game launched. Like, I don't know if they can recapture that. Ooh, disgusting. So I don't know how this gun's falling on like the whole, you know, meta hierarchy, but it seems like every time a new weapon comes out and it does well the first day, it's like, oh, this is the new meta. And I honestly would not be surprised because this weapon seems pretty good. But just a little PSA, if you guys weren't aware, uh, you can now dual wield the f -tac, uh sieges. You can have dual wield tech nines now, and it's actually pretty sweet. Don't know why we waited a whole season after the weapons released, you know, to get an attachment for them, especially if like they, they, I'm pretty sure they announced the attachment along with the weapon, just saying it'll come later. I mean, I kind of get it because like if the weapon isn't working how you want it to work with one specific attachment, you kind of just leave that out and just, you know, throw in what works. But at the same time, it's a little weird because even with the, the cast off 7-4U, I'm pretty sure that got a new barrel added into the game. It's like, uh, from what I've been told, an RPK barrel, because it just looks long as shit. But when I was on here, I couldn't even use it. It said it was locked. Like, I had to be level 9 with the weapon to unlock it. And I have the weapon, you know, fully leveled up. I have it Orion. And I still couldn't even use the barrel. And I think I saw some people that uh, didn't have it leveled up yet, you know, try to level up and get it, and they still couldn't. So I think the attachment's probably just bugged for right now. Might be able to try it out in custom games, though. There's no way both of us survived all those bullets. There we go. Somebody had to go down. But also the, the new maps, we have Showdown, which is... Uh, uh, holy, look at all these tags. Holy fuck. Damn, dude. Oh, if I was working on weapon XP, that would have been 10 levels just running through all those. Holy shit, 35 tags. I'm just going to go bank this real quick. Never mind. That is ridiculous. I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, showdown. What I was saying is I think it's from COD 4. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't play a whole lot of COD around that time. Uh I, I would play like on and off. I definitely wasn't playing as much as I am now. So I don't have the most experience with this map, so it's kind of new to me. But overall, it's not bad. You know, it's a fun map to play on. Definitely better than uh the other map they added. It's supposed to be I don't remember the name of it, but it's like some area in Vondel. 
I think it looks really nice, which is, you know, the common theme with a lot of these COD maps where the maps look nice, but they don't play the best. Because the middle of the map seems fine. That seems where, like, all the action goes down on it. But when you spawn to when you get to the action, it's like playing hide and seek. And I really hate that about maps. I don't even think we got any progress there. We're going to have to play on a different map. But what is a good thing about this update is that they finally added in 10v10s as a quick play option, as well as grind if you're trying to level up some weapons. So I'm going to be playing some 10v10s. Oh, this is sweet. Oh, this is not sweet. We got shipment, but it's a game in progress, but it's right at the beginning of the game. 10v10 shipment. This should just be this is like standard. Oh, another thing is this outnumbered bullshit. I don't care how many people shot at me when I die. You don't gotta remind me. I don't know what made them add that. It might be something with like the new event for this season. But honestly, I haven't looked too closely at a whole lot of those uh, challenges. I'm pretty sure there's some camos in there though. I actually should take a peek at that when we're out of there. But I'll have to save that for later. I have to put all my, my brain power into getting kills from behind and getting point blanks because this is our best opportunity right now. Oh, come on, no. Oh, I saw nothing but feed before my eyes. And it got taken away from me. Ripped from my grasp. This is just nothing but chaos, and I love it. Oh, oh! Everybody spawned right in front of me. If only there was an AC-130. Probably still would have died, but... Would have made me feel better about dying. I feel like the COD devs know that... A lot of players just love this mindless bullshit... Of hopping into a chaotic-ass game of shipment... With fucking... 10v10 and they just know that if they had this in here no one will play anything else so they don't just have it as like a standard playlist you have to get lucky and find this still feel like we're getting no progress despite getting all these kills we've probably only gotten like a few point blanks but you know what this is a fun way to get back into playing after not being on here for a few days oh no that's the game we got 88 kills and no camos from that so we definitely didn't get a whole lot of progress there so let's take a look at these rewards where are they oh yeah there's splatter tactics as a camo oh and train car that's pretty cool that's a cool concept for one i need a lot more of these medals i saw somebody post a picture of them with like one of these medals and like all right suckers get the rest of them but i actually need to get some of these on my own oh actually we almost got all of our kills from behind Point blanks could use some work though. And we got another decent map. We should be able to get our point blanks done here. Knock on wood. Push the door, please. Please push the door. Please, bro. Look at I'm pushing the door. Oh, somebody pushed the door right when I did. It worked uh, to our advantage. We just need one more kill from behind now. That's it. Don't you move. Okay, that should be a kill from behind. There we go. Let's, that's all of our kills from behind. We got our prismatic camo. I can't wait to try that out. I wish I had the base weapon unlocked though. You have to play so much just to get enough Battle Pass XP to unlock the actual guns. Like, they kind of fuck you and, and force you to buy Black Self unless you want to play, like, a whole two days worth of game time. Maybe even more to get enough Battle Pass tokens to actually unlock the guns. Kind of ass. Oh, also, very important announcement. They actually let me have my Butt Clan tag back. I, I was made aware of this on stream somebody let me know that i could finally use my butt clan tag again they decided butts no longer profanity so butt clan rise up i can finally reprise my clan name from all those years ago in modern Warfare 2019 they even had it banned in cold war i i somehow got it in just by like spamming it and it just let me save it as my clan tag so that was another solid thing about this update oh let's go and we're all done with those. We can start working on gold. You know, let's try to get some progress right here and right now. And if we play our cards right, maybe we'll have it unlocked by the time this uh, game is over. No, we're not. Okay, my aim is going to have to be a little bit better if I want to get any progress here. There we go. I think that was three. And that's game. I think we only got one three kills without dying. That's fine. I'll take that. That's three. This gun's nice. Let's take a quick second to enjoy how this camo looks and then die. This camo's awesome. It's like a poison dart frog. Actually, thinking about it, are poison dart frogs just literally named after what weapon they were used to make more deadly? Kind of wild when you think about it. That's another three. We're stacking them. Eat it. 
Oh, that's six. Keep them coming. Or don't. Oh! I'm gross! That was so calculated. Oh, we're getting close to getting this thing done. Nice try, bucko. Ooh. This is the spot over here. I'll tell you what. Oh, there's gold. Let's go. And good thing we're already on like the best long shot map out there. But this gun isn't really built for long shots at the moment. Yeah, definitely not. Well, we got gold done. Let's go, baby. Now, do they have 10v10s in hardcore? No. All right, well, I'm going to keep playing uh, core, I guess. Oh, my Lanta. That's not even a long shot. After all those bolts I put in, yeah, I'm playing hardcore. I don't care if there's no 10v10s. There we go. That's more like it. Oh, fucking Chuck McGill skin. Bro scared of electricity. Oh, <laughs> only one bullet there hit. That's ridiculous. Oh, and after about fucking 45 minutes, we're all done with our long shots. We just need headshots down. I'm going right back to 10v10. All right, who's got some head to give me? Obviously not you. Not in the giving mood, neither is he. We'll get these eventually. We just need to work for them. Oh, we're raking in the headshots right now. Could have had a few more right there if I would have peeked like uh, anyone that had a brain. I just jumped right in front of two people that were ready for it. Please, somebody, give me a headshot. I feel like I'm aiming for the head and I'm not getting it. I gotta turn on big head mode. Finally, first headshot in like 30 kills. Is that it? Are we done? What about now? Don't look like it. Okay, now we gotta be done for sure, right? The game's just fucking with me. Literally two headshots away. All right, let's get this done. Come on, one more. Who wants to give me the final head of the day? I think it's this guy. I know he's dead. Maybe one of these guys do. Nope. Come on, I'm just asking for a little bit of head. Just the smallest amount possible. Oh, why would you jump? Stop jumping. Stay still and let me take your dome off. Oh, that's got to be it right there. Rank up. There's polyatomic, baby. All right, I'm leaving this game. Good luck, everybody else. Let's make sure that we do have all of our mastery camos. There's gold, plat, poly, and Orion. All right, let's go ahead, hop in game and see what it looks like there. And another moment of truth is hardcore fixed in custom matches. It is not. We still have a shit ton of UI. Anyways, this is what the ISO 45 looks like with Orion on it. Very nice looking weapon and actually a pretty good one. Might be one of the best SMGs in the game and maybe I should try it in ranked before they nerf it. Pretty decent gun. Pretty cool looking gun. Great combo. There you have it. We got the ISO 45 Orion and it's got to be the best weapon in this update. I don't think the Tempest Razorback even comes close to this. This SMG is kind of nasty, but I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I'll see you in the next one. Later.